Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and in this video I want to talk about the Battlefield 5 12 gauge automatic for support. Now it's kind of strange that there's no trench shotgun in this game but I want to talk about this gun because it is surprisingly extremely powerful. Like just the base version, I'm not even talking about the slug version, I don't even know how good the slug is. But the baseline buckshot version of this shotgun is insane. Now I don't have the gameplay clip, but the first time I picked this gun up, I got a quad feed almost in the kill feed, like four kills in a row on front lines. And I think I did six kills in my first life. This gun, if you know how to use it, is powerful. Now this is just kind of like first impressions of the gun. What I get from it is it requires aiming and it's kind of strange. Headshots don't really do too well. It's kind of like the body shots and hitting to the back of the body where I kind of get the most power from when it comes to this shotgun. I I just really, it's a, a nice, it, it feels like it's a nice shotgun. It's definitely, the 12 gauge automatic is better than it was in Battlefield 1 by far. Like, Battlefield 1, the 12 gauge automatic sucked. This one, it feels perfectly balanced without any specializations on it. I haven't used any specializations yet. Um, in the clips below that uh, are playing in this video, you'll probably see me using a 12 gauge uh, slug. If the slug is bad, then I'll be using a buckshot. But it's like the range is perfect. It's nice because in front lines, the map I played the first time on was Twisted Steel. And the objectives on Twisted Steel are, are all like housing and villages. Well, not really villages, it's, I guess it's housing. It's all collectively a village, but it's just kind of housing. And this, this gun's really good. It's insane for holding down objectives. And I noticed also that when you use it, if someone's like hiding at a wall, you can just turn a corner and instantly start shooting at them or vault over and start shooting at them. And they almost have no chance if you have a good enough aim. I did notice you actually have to be kind of accurate with the shotgun. If you're not accurate, it sucks. If you are accurate, it, it works really well. So it's almost like if you treat it, honestly, like I would treat it like the Automatico, aiming the Automatico from Battlefield 1. It's like the same gun, except this one's the, the shotgun. And I don't like shotguns in Battlefield games. This one's fun to use. I haven't really used the M30 drilling a lot. I want to use that. Rag actually uses that a lot. But this gun, like, just the, the feel of it is amazing. I love it. It's not overpowered. It's not easy to use. It's not hard to use. I feel like, generally speaking, in shooter games, shotguns usually see, either suck or just super overpowered. It's like, okay, I'm mad. Now I'm going to bring out the shotgun. This gun is perfectly balanced. It seems, at least, perfectly balanced. It's a very viable weapon, too. I noticed a lot of the guns, you can only get really, maybe, you can squeak out three kills per magazine, unless you're a super accurate sniper, then it goes up. But most weapons in this game, you can only get three kills max per magazine, and that's where this gun's at, because you, you can one-shot with it, if you aim right, and most of the time it's a two-shot kill, Sometimes I find myself pumping an extra round out because the shotgun, it is a shotgun, so there's the inconsistency of the pellet spread that always kind of messes with me. I still haven't figured out, like, the pellet spread very well, so sometimes I aim and I'm wondering, you know, how I killed someone. Or maybe they're like 2% in my crosshair and I kill them, you know? Um, I do like the buckhorn on this gun, actually. The, the like, the 2x zoom. I think that's kind of why my ranging's off, because I use the 2x zoom buckshot buckhorn sights but it's a perfectly viable gun and I like that about it I like that you know I haven't really found a lot of guns that are throwaway guns there's guns I don't like like the Sten I really don't like the Sten and I don't like the Lewis gun but they're still if you use them correctly they're very viable weapons the MG34 just I, for some reason I love why? Like the Lee Enfield, I don't like. The Gewehr 95, I like. But the Lee Enfield, there, is, there are definitely use cases for that. So that's kind of the 12 gauge automatic. It's a very kind of short video. I just, it's a fun gun to use. If you're playing support, give it a shot. It's really fun on close range objective modes like Frontlines. 
I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. Thank you so much for watching. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam at Post of whatever I decide to make.